So what's going on guys, DIY Dan here again, and this is another mechanical video. And in this video guys, I had the battery go dead in my remote for my 2007 Toyota Camry Hybrid. I'm gonna show you how you can still get into your car and start your car even though the battery is dead in the remote. Then I'm gonna show you how to change that battery in the remote and show you that it works again. Now I am doing this on my 2007 Toyota Camry. However, I did some research and this should work on a majority of the Toyota keyless entry push button start vehicles. If this video ends up helping you out and gives you some good information, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. The whole concept of my channel is to give you guys the most information in the least amount of time as possible so I don't waste your time. So let's get to it. So right here you'll notice I'm pushing every button on this remote and nothing is happening. So on the side of your key fob, there's gonna be a little button that says push with the picture of a key on it. You give that button a push and then pull the key out from the bottom of the key fob. That key will manually open the driver's door and the trunk if need be. Now once getting in the car, you'll notice if the key fob is far away from the push button start, the vehicle will not start still. And on the display, it will say key is not detected because that battery is dead. However, if you put the key fob directly next to the push button and hold it there for a couple seconds, a green light will come on the push button. It will beep at you and then you can start the vehicle. And that will get you out of an emergency situation so you can get where you can replace the battery. So right here, I'm just removing the key so I can split the remote in half. I ended up just using the key and putting it back in place a little bit and prying it up and that unsnapped the remote so I could split it in half. Once you split it in half, you will have to remove the board so you can get to the battery. I just used a small screwdriver to do that and then pop the battery out with that same screwdriver. It was a 1632 battery. So I got one of those batteries and then you just pop it back into place. Now, if you didn't pay attention to exactly how the board went into the remote, all you need to do is look at the positioning of the switches on the remote and line up those switches with the switches that are on the board, which are the little white knobs on that board. And that will make sure that you get it in in the right direction. Then just line up the back of the remote and snap it back together. Now, if that battery is good, when you push the button, you should see that little red LED light flashing above the switches then go ahead and pop your key back into the remote and everything should work as it should again and that's all there is to it guys once again hopefully you enjoyed this video and it gave you some good information if so make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already i'd really appreciate it my channel is loaded with all kinds of diy projects all with the same concept save you money by doing it yourselves without wasting your time hope to see you next time have a good one. Later.